Well, we're here in Kansas. Um, the buddy of mine shot this deer last night, and what we wanted to do was take a moment to show you how to properly uh, cape a deer for a taxidermist. Uh, if you ever go on a hunting trip or you're out somewhere, um, you, you're pretty much going to know have to know how to do this. Um, so we wanted to show most of the problem that I see when I go to a taxidermist and what they're always complaining about is everybody's always cutting it too short or cutting it in the wrong spot. And when you kill a trophy, um, you want to make sure you're doing the right thing. So the first step that I like to make on a deer is I always got them right to the center of the brisket. Okay, and that gives you about a halfway point. And this is actually more hide th than the taxidermist will need, but I like leaving them plenty in case they need to patch job or, you know, if you're doing a big sweeping shoulder mount, a lot of times you need more hide. So what I like to do is I always start right there and I basically just make a perfect circle all the way around the deer. just a perfect circle. And one thing you want to make sure when you're cutting this is you have a sharp knife. Um, it's very, very important to have a really sharp knife so you can make straight cuts. Those jagged cuts that you have to make um, will make it really hard on tax numbers to hide on your deer. So um, the next step I like to make is I like to come, you can see the difference, the brown and the white. That straight line right there all the way up to the corner is where you want to cut right from the elbow and you want to cut right up to the, to, the, to the corner, right into the crease. And you can see in this crease, this is where one area is in the chest and the shoulders, you don't want to make a mistake. So you want to stay right at the edge and then make a straight line right to the top. Okay, once you made that, I like to cut this out next. As you just cut around the, right, right above the elbow. And then I like to peel this back. And you wanna take your time here, um, being real careful to not cut a hole in the hide. So you just don't wanna grab and rip or pull. You just wanna take your time um, on a buck of a lifetime, it's going to hang on your wall for the rest of your life. You just, uh, no need to get in any big hurry. Once you start getting these peeled back and you get it down to here, then you can just reach up and start peeling these back. Now, one of the things uh, that I get questioned about a lot, and this all depends on your taxidermist. This is a question you want to ask him. Uh, some taxidermists still mount their deer from the split up the back. Uh, nowadays, a lot of taxidermists have uh, went to what they call tubing, which is what I'm going to do today. I'm not going to make this split up the back. I'm going to tube it all the way down here and cut the head off, and then I'm going to actually take the hide off the face over there. Um, 
So when you, my, my suggestion is to ask your taxidermist which they prefer. Uh, like I said, some of them still want this split. And if they do, basically you can see the line that goes right up the dead center of the back. And th this is one you want to make sure and take your time and get it real nice and clean cut. You know, you don't want it jagged because they actually got to sew that back, um, you know, in the shop. But I'm going to tube mine and all I will have is the T-cut to take the skull plate off and then right down to the base of the horns about that far. And that's all they have to sew if you tube it. So that's what we're going to do today. Here's a spot where you have to take your time. As you can see, uh, the, sh the inside of the shoulder of the armpit is kind of stuck up in there. This is where you don't want to make an accidental cut. And my theory is uh, if you cut deep, you probably won't cut the hide. So if it's got a little bit of meat on it, to me it's not no big a deal. They have to fletch that at the taxidermist anyway. So I just leave it. As you can see, all I'm doing now is just slowly working it down, making sure not to make any cuts in the cape. And I'm just working it all the way down, just tubing it. That's, uh, that's why we call tubing it. You're just basically peeling it right down with no cuts. This chain is kind of in the way. Okay, now that I've got it peeled down all the way to the, basically got to take it right to the bottom of the chin. And, and some of it you got to kind of peel back and work. You know, you can see, you got to work it back a little bit. Once you get it to that point, you can go ahead and cut the head off. If you find the joint, right at the joint, and you cut out that joint, you can 
literally just twist the head and it pops off and then we'll take it somewhere else and cape it. I've tried to keep it pretty high and I'm gonna pull it up a little bit more. You see we're almost touching the ground. I wanna keep the cape out of the dirt as much as possible. Um, you don't wanna get that on there and you know it's, it's harder to clean, it's harder to get out for the, for the taxidermist. So we're gonna pull it up a little bit. There she is, caked. 